One more, one more. Flip to flip. Hey everybody, look, it's Grace McGregor, Champion's Edge member. There's Darren LaCroix, and I know what he's going to say to me. It's the motto. What's your motto, Darren? Stage time, stage time, stage time. Gotcha. It's only a half a smile, though. There you That's go. That's what makes me smile. Ed and I are getting interviewed for a Kuwaiti newspaper, Toastmaster newsletter. Hi, how are you? Okay. Good, I'm good. How are you, Hello. Ed Tate checking out the palace. Wow. <laughs> it's just like, this is the palace. It's like, really? You know? is the Crown Prince of Abu Dhabi and the President of Dubai. Bald guys. They like bald guys? Go Darren. 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 Yes, Darren. You're there. Yes. Oh. All right. Wow. Get on. Yeah. Yeah. This is Darren getting on the camel. Before the fall. Before the fall. Yeah. All right. <laughs> and this is the teeth. That's the teeth. That's the teeth. White and shiny. Wow, great sound effects. <laughs> Whoa. Everyone applaud. And NASA went shopping. Ed wasn't aware. <laughs> that happens a lot. That happens a lot. Oh. You make a wish. Make a wish in Genie. <laughs> I wish Ed's not mad at me for spending so much money. <laughs> <laughs> Let me know how that works for you. Come on. Some of the Emirates. Alain is not written. Now check it out. This is a restaurant called Shangri La. And to NASA, it actually is because she can shop and eat at the same time. <laughs> That's the ultimate for a woman. You have to see this. This is like the coolest. Check this out. An actual real live chocolate fountain. And a white chocolate fountain. Strawberries. <laughs> Gotta go with the chocolate here. Oh, oh man. Chocolate. Chocolate. Oh man. Marshmallow. I think I'm gonna try all three. <laughs> so this, I think this is caramel, right? Look at that. Yummy. Mm. We're not sure what this mound of spice is yet, but I don't know. We'll figure it out as we go along. So Ed, how's the chocolate? Amazing. Wish you were here. At dinner, teasing a NASA <laughs> on the gift shopping she did. Ooh. No, no, actually it's really nice that you even don't want to think what it is actually. But you know that so many people worked hard on doing this thing. Right? <laughs> <laughs> and you would really love to have like a one minute of silence. <laughs> <laughs> to appreciate their work, you know? Oh no, yeah. there'll be a time for that. This place is unbelievable. I guess it's like 500 million to build or something, but the heat though is amazing too. It makes Vegas look like nothing actually so strict here that they actually make women uh, even to go in to put on the, uh, the coverings and they won't even let men in shorts in as well. They have like a little place here where you can get some uh, to cover your body out of respect.
<laughs> this is my driver, Sabri. <laughs> Did I say that right? <laughs> Sabri. Sabri, yes. Yeah. This is Mohammed. Uh, he was a gentleman just uh, instructing us and in giving the tour, yeah. and he actually went to stand-up comedy class and used humor incredibly well. Yes. Very nice. Thank, you. Thank uh, you. So humor is accepted as long as it's not... Uh, as long as it's not offending. To the uh, prophets religion. or the uh, yeah, religion. religion. Yes. So, yeah, uh, of course. See, you know, I wouldn't even make fun of your, your, your what would you call it? Your, the, the club, the, 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 the cultural club. See, you made fun of it, but yeah. I would never make fun <laughs> of that. But anyway. So I'm telling you, yeah, we, we, we do appreciate humor. And this is a way of communication, you know. It's a way we break break barriers. We have left civilization. <laughs> oh. We're going four wheeling. <laughs> Woohoo! Okay. Are we ready? Go to the Unbelievably hot air. <laughs> hey Ed, give a wave. Are you getting me? Yeah, absolutely. I'm getting you. <laughs> you can actually taste the sand. I'll send you a taste of Abu Dhabi. Or Salim? Where are we, Salim? Just me and my shadow. Milking the camels. Come, come here. She tries camel milk. I am not so come sure on. about this, guys. I, I, okay, Just okay. don't even think about it. <laughs> you want to see that <laughs> what do you think of camel milk? <laughs> Ooh, yummy. Um, Look at the strings. Mm. Mm. Yummy. <laughs> yummy. Yeah. Ed's getting the ticket for him and Anessa to get back. Uh, this is a sheet, and he took great care of us the whole time. Worked here at the airport for 25 years, been a Toastmaster for two years, and uh, thank you very much. You're welcome. The pleasure Thank you. Mahona. All right, Ed Tate. Here we are again in the airport. Um, Abu Dhabi. Dhabi. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, we had a great time. It was just, uh, what an amazing country. Great people. Phenomenal conference. 650 people. Wow. And they treated us like kings. And our royalties. Yes, absolutely. That was awesome. Uh, and the people. So and you know, our job is, it's so tough. <laughs> You know, all these well, difficult places, these international places that we travel to. Right? You get to ride camels. How cool we, is we, that? We rode camels. But you'll more about that later. Uh, and in fact, we had such a great time. And we love, we have this passion for teaching. Ed, I think we need to do a boot camp in the Middle East somewhere. I agree. What do you think we should go? Uh, Dubai? Bahrain? Maybe both? I don't know. What do you think? Should I think we'll we come back to the Middle East and do a boot camp for you? I'm thinking yes. All right, keep an eye on our website and our, my newsletter and Ed's blog and find out when we're going to come back and do a two-day boot camp just for you. Stay tuned.